Volcanoes originate from the Earth's internal processes, primarily the movement of tectonic plates and the associated movement of molten rock, or magma. The Earth's outer shell, called the lithosphere, is divided into several large and small tectonic plates that are constantly shifting and interacting at plate boundaries. There are three primary types of plate boundaries where volcanoes can form. Divergent boundaries, at divergent boundaries, tectonic plates move away from each other. As they separate, magma from the mantle rises to fill the gap, creating new crust. This process can result in volcanic activity, such as mid-ocean ridges. Convergent boundaries, at convergent boundaries, tectonic plates collide. When an oceanic plate subducts beneath a continental or another oceanic plate, the descending plate can melt due to the heat and pressure in the Earth's mantle. This molten rock rises through the overlying plate, leading to the formation of volcanic arcs, like the Andes or the Cascade Range. Transform boundaries. At transform boundaries, tectonic plates slide past each other horizontally. Though volcanic activity is less common at these boundaries, it can occur as a result of the friction and stress along the fault lines, leading to the release of magma. Volcanoes can also form within tectonic plates away from plate boundaries, known as intraplate volcanism. This occurs due to hotspots, where a plume of exceptionally hot mantle material rises through the lithosphere, melting and creating volcanic activity. The Hawaiian Islands are a well-known example of intraplate volcanism. In all cases, the eruption of magma, gas, and other materials from a volcano is a result of pressure building up beneath the Earth's surface. When that pressure exceeds the strength of the surrounding rocks, it leads to an explosive release, creating volcanic eruptions that can take various forms, from gentle lava flows to violent explosions.